Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about how to find the inverse of a given element in GEF of p power n. We will take an example and understand. Here, we are going to use Euclidean algorithm method to find the inverse of the given element. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about the multiplication operation, addition operation of GF of p power n. And in our the beginning classes, we already discussed about the Euclidean algorithm. Based on the assumption, you already have these basics. Our explanation is provided here. Let's take this example GF of 2 power 4. And the irreducible polynomial is x power 4 plus x plus 1. If you want to find the inverse of the element x square plus 1, if you want to find the inverse for this element, we go with the Euclidean algorithm method. So what we are going to use here in the Euclidean algorithm, we discussed that uh, S values will be there, S1, S2 values, T values will be there, T1, T2. And we are going to do division operation and the reminder, based on the reminder, until you get the zero value, we are going to the division. Similarly, here R1 is considered as the irreducible polynomial r2 is considered as our element r1 divided by r2 you will get the quotient value you will get the remainder value similarly you need to identify the t value initially t1 is considered as 0 and t2 is considered as 1 if you want to find the t value this is the equation t tends to t1 minus q q means quotient t2 this is the equation we are going to use to find the t value. Let's refresh the concept of how we have we are going to do division in our gf of p power n r1 divided by r2. r1 means x power 4 plus x plus 1 divided by x square plus 1. So in order to make this make this x square x power 4 multiply by x square, you are going to get x power 4 plus x square this minus this minus means here xor operation so cancelled out you are going to get x square plus x plus 1 now in order to and uh, this one is x square plus 1 x square x square so multiply by 1 that's why plus multiply by 1 you are going to get x square plus 1 so x you you have to do the minus x square x square cancel 1 1 cancel and remind remainder is x so that's why x square plus 1, x power 4 plus x plus 1 divided by x square plus 1, quotient is this, remainder is this. Quotient is x square plus 1, remainder is x. Now you need to identify t value, t tends to t1, t1 is 0, 0 minus, what is the quotient, x square plus 1 multiplied by 1, which is x square plus 1. 0 minus x square plus 1, you are going to get here 0 minus means XOR operation, you are going to get x square plus 1. So that's why t is x square plus 1. Now t2 will become t1, t will become t2. r2 will become r1, r will become r2. Again r1 divided by r2, quotient is this, remainder is this. Find the t value, this is the t value which we are going to get. Again t, t2 will become t1, t will become t2 r2 will become r1, r will become r2. Like this you continue until you get the remainder value is 0. Once you get this 0, this t1 value which you got here, this is what the inverse element is. So x square plus 1, the inverse element of x square plus 1 is x cube plus x plus 1. If you multiply these two, you have to get the value of 1. Yes, it is going to get uh, multiplied with uh, this and uh, uh, divided by irreducible polynomial, you are going to get the value of 1. Multiplication of operation of gf of p power n, you are going to get 1, you will get it. This is how we are going to identify the inverse of a given element using Euclidean algorithm. Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.